giving ourselves time. They say, no, the EFF is talking about it. Maybe there will be something. Let's give them an opportunity to resolve it since EFF is now in parliament. And the government and the ruling class are not prepared to listen to the superior logic that the EFF is presenting. So we're going to have a problem. And, uh, and uh, whether you're taking me to court for that, I really don't care. Uh, the white people are not scared. The white people are the ones who committed violence against black people. The white people are in a mindset of violence. And they think we are like them. They think we like violence. We don't like violence. We have never engaged in any violent activity. But white people have engaged in a violent activity. And that's why they are scared that we are going to pay revenge in a violent manner. So they, 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 then they show us you know, artificial, pretentious tears that they are scared. They are not. They are refusing to surrender the land and their state of mind because they are always resolving things through violence. They think that is the only way we are going to opt for. So, we, we are not there. We, we said and we kept on saying, let the land be returned to the people of South Africa. Let the land peacefully be restored into the hands of the rightful owners. South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white. In all these utterances, I never said white people are going to be driven to the sea. I've always reassured them. But why are they worried about Malema? They're worried about Malema in the EFF because we're going to tamper with white privilege. The ownership of land in South Africa is a reserve for white people. And once you tamper with it, you are tempering with white privilege. And no one dares touch his white privilege. That's what they are worried about. They are not worried about any slaughter. They know it's not going to happen. They are worried that if this policy finds its way through, then our privilege is gone. They are worried about whiteness. Because whiteness is ownership of strategic uh, means of production uh, in the economy. That's what makes them white. We ought to own the land. We ought to own the, the minerals of this country. We ought to own everything that matters. That's what makes us white. And once that is taken away, our whiteness is gone. I'm not worried about what white people think of me. I'm worried about black people. And every time I speak, I speak to black people. I want to liberate their mindset. Because they think solution is whiteness. Their mindset suggests that Economy must be controlled by white people. That's why every time you speak, they say, ah, he wants us to be like Zimbabwe. Why? Because Zimbabwe, according to them, is like that because it's not under a white man's rule. So the mindset that says whiteness is a solution to our problem is the most dangerous mindset, and that's what I seek to change. I will never compromise. I will never compromise on our people taking their land back. If it means prison, let it be.